can you tell me two things? What age you started your art and at what stage or age did people see it publicly? Okay, well, from the beginning, me and my sister, we've been drawing kind of like everyone else. So what I found most interesting is that we used to try to value scrap paper. Whenever we would have scrap paper, we would just draw on it. And at the end of the school year, we used to be excited because then we could go into our exercise books. And even though there were lines through the paper, all those extra pages, we would just draw them up. From age 15, I joined the online forum and then I realized that art was kind of a real thing. So from then on, I've been drawing and posting a little bit online. But for my journey, I've been trying to find what arts would best suit me, what I felt comfortable putting out, and being satisfied with what I put out and becoming the artist that I know I could be. Nice. So you are still finding your way. Yeah. Who 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 who's playing a part in helping you to navigate this journey? Well, for me, it's myself. It's my sister. It is the NCF. It's people online and my inspirations. Who is Aaliyah Rose? Introduce yourself. Aaliyah Rose is a passionate young woman who sees anything as possible and anything can be learned so once you are resourceful smart um, driven you can get anything done so that is who i am that's who i want to be and i love art as a way to express myself and to put all my skills to the test yeah. how how has art impacted your life i'm assuming positively how how has when you start to paint what does that bring to your life it brings a lot of meaning because sometimes you would think an office job is you go in, you work, you come home, watch TV, and that is it for life. But for me, art brings a bit more to it. It brings a lot of color, a lot of um, different things that you would never see normally. Whatever comes out of people's minds is very interesting. Nice. When you're doing a piece, where do you draw your inspiration from? So with the digital world now, I draw my inspiration from Pinterest and from Instagram. There are many great artists out there, but it's not only art that I get my inspiration from. It's also texture, stories, um, graphics, anything visual, anything that would show a side of things that we never think about before. Nice. Have you done any studies or any developmental work to try to perfect your craft as, as when you decided that you're going to take this journey? Yes. Tell us about that. Yes. So for me, I love science and I find that I love anatomy as well. So I do kind of studies on the side where I would focus in on um, a specific fundamental or aspect of art that would improve my art. Nice. You would have worked on mural projects before. Um, you want to tell us about that, the murals you've worked on, how that experience was for you? Mural work is much different from doing it on my computer or from Canvas because with uh, my computer, I can zoom right in. I can, it's all near to me. I can use my one pixel brush on the canvas and going really, really fine. But for murals, sometimes I'll be finding I'll use my whole arm, my whole body. And it's very interesting because then persons can see it from far away persons can drive by. It's not something that's kind of put away in your home. It's more on display. It's very interesting. I like it. It's more public. It's more so public. So you, you like the whole art gallery idea and having your stuff done public. You said you, you post some of your stuff on social media. Yeah. Anything else you do to try to get this your stuff out there? Yeah, I'm trying to get into more galleries this year, but I do like the ideas of galleries as well. The culture, I love the art culture and just having a show, persons coming in and just come and appreciate your work on the walls. I love that as well. Who are some of the females who would impact on your life? You, you mentioned your sister. With art um, and, and personally, in terms of defining who Aaliyah is? Well, in terms of local inspirations for art specifically, um, there are people like Sheena Rose, the A3, um, Alanis, uh, Kila and Anna, I think their names are. And then there is Shanika Grimes. She does 
more catering towards the average person and then there is mm, I have another name for my closer friends I have Alicia Smith she's really talented and I love to work with her we plan to do a lot in the future and there is also Amelia she's a photographer but the reason that I find her very inspiring to me is because she's organized she's very much of a businesswoman and there is just professionalism in everything she does. It's very admirable. Nice. Are you currently pursuing any studies? Yes. You want to? So apart from art, I'm also doing my master's. I'm doing a lot. I want to, in the future, just focus more on art itself. But for now, I'm doing my master's in public policy. And that is in China. So I'm working on finding out who I really am and what I really want to do. But I know art is my passion for sure. You said for the future, art for the future. So let's say in five years, what would you want to have accomplished five, five years from now as it relates to your art? As it relates to art, I would like to be in galleries and go international. I don't want to only be local because I want to stay local as well, but I also want to bring Barbados's name to the world stage. So I see myself as kind of a little ambassador, a little representative of Barbados. Uh, I also plan to experiment with different mediums. So it's not only going to be canvas on art or digital art. I want to do watercolor and oils and gouache. I just want to experiment. And then maybe five years later, I'll tell you exactly who I am. But right now, I'm just experimenting. I also want to combine different parts of art, not only just art. So I want to combine my photography and my graphic design and make a piece that would or make pieces that would showcase visual. You, we talked about work on mural projects, but would you want to design one yourself if given the opportunity? And if so, what, if, if, some, if you were asked to design a mural project, what would it be? What would it be like? What story would you be telling with that piece? Yes, I'm very interested in doing more mural projects. I have another one for a restaurant that I have to work on now. But in terms of Putting a big piece, I imagine a big piece that either highlights our history, our future, our culture, and it's so well done and surreal and futuristic um, that persons are taken back and and they start really thinking about Barbados. Good leading question. When you produce a piece, if you produce a piece for sale or for a gallery, what expectation what do you want your customer to receive are you giving them a piece of yourself what, what do you what do you what do you expect so for me art is pretty as one of the first things and then after it could have um, a bunch of meaning I want that when persons have it in their home is because they decided I cannot live without this piece I must see this every day it either speaks to who they are or tells a story they really relate with, or it's just so curious and puzzling that they're just wondering why they like it so much. And that's gonna be beautiful. And that's a nice feeling too. Aliyah, thank you for making time to do this interview with us. Of course. Continue your strong relationship with the NCF. You know, you can always seek guidance from our visual arts officer, Rodney Eiffel. And we do wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.